Hey, what's up guys? So I'm gonna be changing that 2003 Infinity FX35 wheel bearing. Right? So I had some wobble and so I'll post a video of that after this. So yeah, taking the lug nuts out. I'm gonna get started. I'll record once I have some parts out, step by step. All right, cool. So we got the tire on. We just gotta we gotta take off the caliper. And then there's a couple screws back here that are gonna get loosened up. And let's see what else. We have a the ABS sensor right over here, 10 millimeter bolt. Make sure you guys take that out before pulling the bearing out, cause you guys can damage it, and then you're gonna have an ABS weed light on. So. All right, let's get started. Cool, cool, cool. Got the 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter wrench. So, uh, oh shit, tighten, my bad guys. Just let you know, I don't do this for a profession. I just like cars and I started working on them. Started with a 1997 Mitsubishi Eclipse. That was my baby until I blew the motor, got the Infinity, and I've been here since. The Infinity got crashed. Rebuilt. It's a work in progress. So if you guys want to follow my Instagram, you guys can check out the car right there. I have other videos on this channel. You guys can see fishing videos and all that stuff. But yeah, this here goes the ABS sensor. Simple 10 millimeter throw. Don't lose your nuts. All right. All right. So you know, as we say, I think I may have found the problem here. And it's not gonna be my fucking wheel burn. This is gonna be fucking wheel control. Right. I don't know if that's wrong, but I'm guessing it's mine because you guys can see what I'm talking Well, it doesn't shake, so let's just try it. We'll see. Alright, so we're gonna have to get this bolt out. Get this bolt out. And I came to the conclusion that I might have to switch the control arm, but for right now it might be good. Because uh, the wheel was wobbling everywhere. You now, if you do the test, I'll show the video of that. So, get this one. Mainly a breaker bar if you guys have it. If not, you guys can manage to get it out. It's not that bad. Sorry if I sound a little off. Just woke up. Part came in the mail. Straight to work. Huh? Day off today, so I work out this way in case you guys were wondering. Oh, I wish I had two people helping me. Alright, guys, so I'll uh, load it up once I start removing the caliper. This is for the caliper. Alright, guys, so you know we got one bolt out. And the whole caliper should come right off. I need one more. And just in case you guys are wondering, I'm using the 7.8 socket with a torque. With a torque ratchet. So, but yeah, guys, it's not that hard. At least for my car, it wasn't that hard. It doesn't. Everything's wide open. Usually, the lower control arm has this the bolt here that's a little higher. It blocks up a certain nut here or bolt from. You know put in the socket in or around so you have to take out the lower control arms and then loosen up the right here but i think that's just for the g35s really good right here so yeah i'm definitely gonna change the lower control arm um when the accident happened you know he bent it so this is a used part that i bought just to get it on the road and see if there was any mechanical problems so far and everything's been great it's all just cosmetic work, body paint and all that. But yeah, I'm gonna be doing brake change soon too. Waiting for everything in the mail. But yeah guys, let's let's continue doing this. So that the caliper doesn't let's see. Um hopefully you guys can see. So we gotta make sure that the caliper comes out. 
you guys, we gotta make sure. Oh, put it somewhere where it's not. It's not gonna, you know, fall down and add pressure on the hose lines, because then you're gonna have a brake situation. Mm, my brake pads are not that bad, actually. We'll get to that soon. So we got the rotor out. Ah. So there we go, we got the rotor out. You know, just these two bolts managed to get the rotor out. We need to take out this bracket right here for like, you know, brake dust and all that. It won't go in the back. And I think that's just these four bolts right here. I, it might be 17 millimeters, so I'm gonna check that out. Get this thing off and put this thing on and... Oh yeah, I mean... Oh yeah, that sounds bad. Oh yeah, yeah, there's too much play here. Just in case you guys are wondering, oh, I'm putting you guys down for a bit. Hold up. Okay, so this is the old one. You know, I've been having these rattling ones around 3,000 RPM. Fucking hate. I don't know if it's Wilbur, and I hope it's this and solves my problem, or it's this right here all this shit i got custom exhaust after this y ending it looks pretty rusted out so i'm just gonna go get it changed maybe add some headers in here but i got a custom exhaust all the way over there sounds great gotta get rid of those flex pipes yeah Ow. hopefully get it painted soon uh, upcoming month black get some boston cb3 wheels on this my baby it's my baby ebay fender you know fucking working great matte black um bound all the damage only thing i need to get is a fender molding i used the old one but yeah you guys can see that and yeah guys so let's get started again and get this boat up. oh yeah my bad guys i got distracted i'm gonna show you this and then look how can do with two hands with one hand on me all right so you know look look how quiet that is it's kind of hard to even turn but yeah and then oh most definitely you know it needed to get changed with all this rust up in there it was in the pound when it got in the accident for like a month and it was raining in the mud and so I expected this to go bad. Just not this fast. But oh well, we'll get this started. All right, so unfortunately I don't have a socket for the torque wrench and I can't find my adapter. So I gotta use this smaller socket. Beauty about this though, you pull it out. Boom. So, you know, just in case you guys are wondering, it is uh, 3 fourth. There we go. Um, I'm going to have to hustle it out because. Ah, shit. Ah, my bad, guys. Ah, I need to buy one of those. I'm using a towel. Cloudy as with it. Right, let me. Let me just. Cool. That should be a good angle, right? Might leave you guys there for a while. So these two fucking bolts. Yeah, not gonna happen. So I'm gonna have to look my my adapter and my my box this is all my tools. I got my grown harness, the old one. I put Bluetooth on the car. Black ass eBay speakers that never fucking work. Alright, alright guys, so give me a minute. And let me get this started. Alright, right, so we got one loose. I managed to find, you know, this came with my wheel, you know, 
whatever the fuck this shit's called, the torque, um, breaker bar, there we go, breaker bar, so, you know, just in case you guys are wondering, it's 3, 4, 2, 4, 9, 4, 9, 4, 9, 4, however you say that, but yep, torque works, that's the job, gotta buy one, Whew. easy peasy, yeah. Got in. Let it out and hold on, let me go check some shit. There's people yelling outside. We got the G35 right here, guys. Alright, back when we started fucking bumps fighting and shit. Over here stealing energy. They they're trouble, trust me, they're trouble. So, you know. Alright guys, so this is how it's gonna look. Got the dandy hammer right here. Fucking rusted ass shit right here. Ah, you, see, you guys can see it's still on there. So gotta get it out. Put this one up and see if it still wobbles. But yeah guys, I can do it. You guys can do it. Don't be afraid of it. You know, everything is man. Well, at least, I don't know. This is for us, you know, man design. So, I guess, you know. It's possible. I'm not certified or nothing, so just like doing it. Stress free. Yep. Alright, well let's see how everything looks. Uh, put it in a bag, we'll just do the reverse way that you took it out and uh, I'm pretty sure you guys can understand that. Come on. Um, my video might be actually might actually be the only FX35 2003 wool bearing documentation because I tried searching it up on YouTube and I only found like 2008 and up and obviously this one was first generation or second no first generation I think that's what it is BQ 35 DE engine and yeah this car is gonna look sexy by the time I'm done with it so yeah right so this is how that looks you know I got the old one out you hear that? that's bad has a lot of play. That might have been the cause of my wheel, but I'm also concerned for the low control arm. I'm gonna have to order it and you know, wait for you. you guys see that? See that right there? Ah, uh, yeah. Or I'll probably just change the bushings at some aftermarket. But yeah. hi, babe. Can I that one? Yeah, baby. What's wrong with your clothing, girl? So let me let you guys know something. So I did this on my 1997 Mitsubishi Eclipse and it was front wheel drive. So it had the axle going through here. I don't know if there's going to be a problem because this one is not like that. It's smooth. And I forgot that these cars are wheel wheel drive. Mine isn't an all wheel drive. Wheel wheel drive. So I was actually pretty happy when I found out I didn't need to go rent a puller. Wheel bearing puller. So yeah man happy this happened obviously i'm gonna change the rest of them when they need to get changed all right well let me put this back up
Ooh, all right guys so uh, what time is it now so maybe like an hour and a half it took me because of the video you know, but we got it all here just make sure that when you guys put this back get in there with like a wrench i did it with a wrench but if you have a flat head get in there and stretch it out back because it kind of bends forward and it'll just break the rotor and you're gonna hear a noise and you don't like that so <clears throat> there we go put the brakes back in i'm doing brake change maybe next week all uh, all four wheels but yeah let me put the wheel back on in time to get this shit no i should see what's wrong with it Alright guys, so let me see. It's back on. So you know we did fix a lot of wobbles if it doesn't wobble no more. But sadly the low control arm is the one that's making this. That's not good. Yeah. yeah, so you know I gotta get that fixed, I gotta order the part. And I'll do a video on that, I guess. Ah, I was hoping that I was so glad. But yeah, well, I mean, this part is done. I'll pull this to the video, but you guys will see how bad it is. Alright, well. Uh, I have four lug nuts, so. Yeah. And that's how you do it. You gotta drop it and tighten it, and yeah, guys. Okay. Alright, so we're all done. There we go. So you know there's still a small wobble due to the lower control on brushing, as you guys saw. But overall, it's way better than before. I'm obviously gonna have to drive the G35 for now until I fix the other issue. But yeah, no ABS light. Remember guys, that sensor is very important. Don't fuck it up. Yeah. Test drive number one, even though I have the lower control arm bushing out. But you know, let's see what. Oh, okay, yeah, oh yeah, it's way better now. Back then you'll be able to hear some type of thing. You freaking suck that. All right guys, my phone's about to die, 1%. See you guys, subscribe if you guys like the video. I'll put something else some other time. Break change and all the other stuff. All right, guys. Thank you. Bye.